With the new year comes a message to help end homelessness. For months now, those living under the I-83 bridge in downtown Baltimore have asked the city's help. As WMAR 2 News' Dave Detling shows us, they marched to have their voices heard. Well, the homeless encampment, their supporters and advocates marched here to City Hall earlier this morning. They shared their personal stories and also asked the city once again for more resources. There are 42 people living under the I-83 bridge in Baltimore City, each tent representing a story of a person struggling to get by. I need help now. I've been shot my head. Everything that happened to me under the sun. The homeless encampment knows the pain of feeling forgotten. We tired of being on the back burner, sleeping under the bridge and all that, man. Recently, the community experienced the death of two women, including Lisa Holmes. What do you want? Housing! What do, what do you, you want? want now? now? Friday morning, the encampment mobilized, marching towards City Hall with their grievances. Among them, Lisa's husband, Michael Webster. Yes, my wife has died two weeks ago. Yes, no closure. But I still got to move on. I still got to be out here and do what I got to do. With their advocates and supporters, they made their pleas public. Their demands that the city provide alternative housing, identify safe havens, access to therapeutic services through the partnership of Baltimore Homeless Services and independent contractors. They asked for opportunity and a chance to be part of the conversation with city leaders. Conversation, they say, is one-sided and unequal. It's been a lot of false promises, a lot of hopes and dreams. A lot of pipe dreams. Quite frankly, I'm tired. I need housing, I need medical, no, I need a uh, 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 job training. Job. Yes. That's the case, so I can be able to uh, uh, thrive in 221. Their fight isn't just for those living under the bridge, but for all who are chronically homeless. And again, there are about 42 people living under the I-83 bridge. They said they will continue to hold more press conferences. Outside Baltimore City Hall, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.